France has been hit by a magnitude 5 earthquake and earthquakes are rattling the same area of a zone that is hit by moderate earthquakes. You'll see here the uh, areas that are uh, moderate, small, very strong. Now the dark orange, of course, is where our Bordeaux area is, where the earthquake swarm has just now taken place, that is today. Also, I never knew that France had 80 dormant volcanoes that have recently been uh, classified as a UNESCO heritage site. Now, I don't know if uh, this, these quakes are on uh, a volcanic area, but obviously they're in, river, in an area of rivers, which is, of course, rivers flow at fault lines, but they are on an area that has a number of nuclear sites. Let's take a look at this, shall we? It's on the um, area of those two green towers, which are t 10 to 20 year olds. They're basically new, but uh, they're there. That's where the uh, quakes are. We'll take a look at this on the map, shall we? All right, here we are at Google Earth, and I've pinned the magnitude five quake. Basically, the, <coughs> sorry, the, the quake swarm is around here. Let's pan out now, we'll see that it's in an area of rivers. Um, rivers are usually where fault lines are low-lying. And this is a bay that opens up to the Atlantic. You'll see, look at this thing. This thing here opens up to the Atlantic Ocean to the west of France. There you go. That's the Atlantic. And this is where our earthquake swarm was. Uh, we've had an uptick of Okay, these are, these are the other locations of the past earthquakes that we had going into England. And these are fault lines that stretch this way, as the little hand goes this way. There are fault lines going this way, and from France all the way to England. And we know England also has geothermal energy, geothermal activity, because they have spring, thermal spring baths. They've had thermal spring baths there since antiquity. The Romans had opened up a number of bath houses there, one of them being in Bath, another one being in Leamington Spa, and a lot of other areas that have ancient bath houses with geothermal energy, hot springs, in other words, mineral springs. So this is our recent earthquake swarm. Let's go now to Volcano Discovery. This is our five earthquake, very shallow. Let's put, go in again. Just, this is the area of our um, nuclear plants in France, this area here. So these are 58 reactors that they have, 58. The red are over 30 years old. The uh, yellow are 21 to 30 years of age, and the green are 10 to 20. They're still young, basically. But there is a, a number of them that are really old, as you can see. So we have our nuclear plants in the area of our um, seismic activity in France. I believe these are uh, French, uh, I, guess, I guess Haiti or the Caribbean or Indonesia, where France has territory <clears throat> and uh, this is our area where we had our earthquake swarm right here it's moderate moderate seismic activity a nouveau zonage seismique de la France this is the new chart this new chart, seismic chart of France that they came out with they came out with this after the Fukushima uh, earthquake, tsunami, nuclear disaster. They decided to come up with a new map and that's what they came up with. And um, level five, as we said, is strong risk. Level three is moderate. This is what we had here. And that's the volcanoes we'll go into a little bit. The 80 dormant volcanoes in France. So this is it. Uh, they even had one off the coast of Bordeaux, and this is where we have our 
five magnitude two kilometers depth. That's a big one, and you can see this, it's a swarm of earthquakes right there. And the other ones are about two, I think, 2.7. That's a 3.1, two kilometers depth. And that's a 2.7, two kilometers depth. And going to volcano discovery, this is what we have today. 3.1, 2, 2.7, and the five. The five, they said they felt strong shaking about a second duration, went outside and they saw, and then they started shaking again. So, um, for a few seconds. Uh, in the Bordeaux area of France. And you can see, here they are, they're going again. Uh, this is uh, 19th and 20th. So, the whole area has been shaking since yesterday. And this is the map, as we said, the bay opening up to the Atlantic Ocean. Okay? And uh, this is our area again, magnitude, the five magnitude earthquake a few hours ago in an area of, unfortunately, uh, quite a, a few quite a few, even an old one, but quite a few nuclear power stations. Now, as far as the 80 dormant volcanoes, the volcanoes finally have been granted UNESCO World Heritage status. This is on the local France. Auverge volcanoes granted UNESCO World Heritage status. I didn't even know France had 80 volcanoes. And here they are. Uh, it, it, it looks to me, could it, if they're all that close together from what you can see, this could basically be cinder cones from a supervolcano. I mean, look how close they are to each other. Very close. Here's another beautiful crater blown out. And here they are again. Doesn't this remind us of the Mono, Mono Inyo craters of the Long Valley Caldera in California? I mean, if nobody told you that this was France, you would swear this was the uh, supervolcano Long Valley Caldera in California. Amazing. All right, so these are the 80 volcanoes. The range of 80 dormant volcanoes in central France, known as the Chain de Pu, has finally been granted World Heritage Status by UNED. The Chain of Volcanoes becomes France's first natural heritage site. Chain de Pu. The P, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, includes as many as 80 dormant volcanoes stretching over an area of 45 kilometers, northern Massif Central to the west of central France city of Clermont-Ferrand. And authorities in the region have long been trying to convince UNESCO that they're worthy of the World Heritage status, and their pleas were finally heard. UNESCO committee met in Bahrain and gave, uh, they granted the wish, uh, meaning that the Chain de Pu and the 3,000 meter deep Liman Fault line are officially France's 44th World Heritage Site. The range's high point is the iconic lava dome of Pou de Dome, which stands at 1,465 meters. That's over about uh, 4,000 something feet. The tower is over Clermont Ferrand and is located in the middle of the chain. And since 2012, visitors have been able to take a train to the top of the peak. According to the source, the last eruption of the volcano in the Chien de Pierre was believed to be around 4,040 BC. So that was about well over 6,000 years ago. But the volcanoes are officially classified as dormant rather than extinct, which in theory means they could violently erupt at some time in the future. The site is an outstanding example of continental disruption or rifting, which is one of the five main stages of plate tectonics, UNESCO said. The International Union for Conservation of Nature recommended to UNESCO that they grant the heritage status, said the chain of domes and cones and craters exceptionally illustrates the processes and characteristics of continental break, fundamental phenomena in the history of the Earth, and one of the reasons that held the candidature back was the human interference with the site, most probably the presence of a telecommunications antenna on the top of Puy de Dome. 
so I guess that's been taken down. Um, they demonstrated human interference had been vital for the protection of the site and without which the volcano forms would not be visible today. So here they are. The first natural world heritage site in mainland France. And here we go again. While there are natural heritage sites in Corsica, New Caledonia, and this, the island of Réunion, and Mont Perdu, which is shared with Spain, mainland France until now did not have one of its own, despite the natural beauty all around. So, okay, we have fault lines, deep uh, fault lines, 80 dormant volcanoes which, which can violently erupt any moment. They're not extinct, they're dormant. And we had our very surprising quake swarm starting yesterday uh, in an area uh, that does not have fracking. I checked on the fracking. There's no fracking there. The fracking is around Paris uh, and no more fracking um, permits will be given. And it's in an area, unfortunately, that has uh, nuclear reactors, nuclear power plants. 58 in France altogether, and this is the area of the volcanic activity right here. So, uh, we'll keep an eye out on this. I don't think we had any earthquakes in England recently, but these are the quakes in France, as you can see. This here was a magnitude 2, 2 kilometers depth, and this was at the tip a magnitude 3.5, again at a 2 kilometers depth. They're very shallow. And here again, zero. That was uh, surface, 2.0 surface in uh, the border of Spain with France. 1.8, 12 kilometers depth. And where is this one? In Italy, of course. And that was a 3.3, 10 kilometers depth in Corsica. So there you have it. We'll keep an eye out on this. Now it could be that these will uh, somehow uh, trace themselves into what time was this? Let's see. This was at what time? Let's see. I didn't notice the time. This was on the 19th at about noon. And let's go to the bigger one that we had today. That we had today is here somewhere. That was in the morning, and that was about an hour later. It looks like an aftershock, and that was two hours later, four hours later. That was an aftershock, and that was an, uh, about a few minutes after that, another bigger aftershock. Okay, these seem to be aftershocks, so we'll keep an eye out on this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.